Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on Computer Networks Lab. In this session, I shall be explaining you how to connect two networks using an intermediate device called router. So why do we require a router here? So let us see, suppose, let me continue with the previous experiment wherein we had uh, made a setup for the LAN local area network and we connected three PCs here in this network. And we, and we had given the IPv4 addresses belonging to the class C category. The first three octets belongs to the network ID and the last octet belongs to the host ID. That is why we have, we have kept on changing the host ID here. The very first PC we have assigned the host ID as 5 and then for PC 1 6 and for PC 2 7. In case uh, if we try to change the network for any PC like suppose if we try to change the third octet here for a PC then let us see whether PC0 can ping to PC2. What I am trying to say is let me change this to 21.7. Once I change this to 21.7 and definitely I have to assign the IP address here. So I will change it to 21.7. Fine. Now suppose if I try to ping from PC0 to PC2. Let me see how it is going to work. So we will go to the desktop go to the command prompt and type ping 192.168.21.7 you can see the output it is request timed out that means pc0 is unable to reach now to, to pc2 but earlier we have seen in the previous experiment that when it was 20.7 that means when three octets were same for all the three pieces that means what all the three pieces belongs to the same network now in case if we try to change this network and try to ping pc0 from pc2 we have seen that we are unable to reach pc2 then what is the solution here the solution is this particular pc has to move to a different network and a intermediate device called router has to be used in between these two networks so let me carry out in the same manner first i'll just keep it as it is what i'm trying to do is in each network i want three pieces so let me keep it back as it is this 20.6 sorry this 20.7 that was the label actually so i need to change here in the ip config so it is 20.7 now if i want to have pcs wherein i am changing the third octet also instead of 20 i'll be using 21 so let me construct here one more i'll place once again three pcs here for all these three pcs i have decided to give the ip address let me first write it in the label 192.168.21.7 so here what i have decided is for the second network let me give ip address 192.168.21.5 here 21.6 and next 21.7 and so the network uh, address will be in 192.168.21.0 okay we have to connect these two lands so this is one network and this is another network now we'll connect these two networks using a router and I have a video session separately on the functioning of the router in this video lectures in this networking series. Now once I connect this router and I have to use the cable here. I have written the values only on the labels. Now let me use this IP configuration and then assign 192. dot. 168.21.5 subnet mask okay similarly i should do it for the second pc in this network then the third pc in this network 192.168.21.5 7 once we assign the ipv4 addresses for all these pcs Suppose if we try to ping from one PC, either PC0, PC1 or PC2 to any one of the PCs in the second network, still we will not be able to reach those PCs. The reason is this router which has got 
two interfaces shown here because it is connecting two networks this one you can check i'll just place it here fast ethernet zero fast ethernet zero slash zero is the network here and this side is fast ethernet zero slash one so these are the two interfaces even these two interfaces need to be assigned with ipv4 address now what ipv4 address you will be giving to this interface okay to this interface fa slash fa zero slash zero you will be assigning an ip address belonging to this network 192.168.20.0 hence what we can do is this fast ethernet 0 slash 0 lies in this side that means this interface is towards this interface is connecting to network 1 so we can assign the ip address belonging to that network only 192.168.21. let us take 1 21.1 okay and fast ethernet 0 slash 0 should be assigned with an ip address 20.1 okay which belongs to this address the port status should be made on similarly now we'll check for the other interface and then write here the ip address 192.168.21.1 so we have taken an ip address belonging to the second network so and once again i missed turning the port status into on so here i need to click on fine so now you can see these two interfaces so this interface is connected to lan 2 whereas this interface is connected to lan 1 now we have to ping one of the pcs from lan 1 to one of the pcs of lan 2 let us see whether it is successful or not this time earlier what we have done is we have made a setup only for one lan and in one lan itself we tried giving an ip address belonging to a second network which was not successful now that's the reason this is the actual functioning of the router which will connect two network it will route the packet from this network to this network so let us see now whether we can ping so we have assigned also for all these three pcs of second network with ip addresses and subnet mask and one more additional setting we need to do here is in the configuration now since we have assigned the router interfaces ip addresses those interface ip address becomes gateway for these pcs so whatever is the ipv4 address assigned so let me write it here in the label 192.168.20.1 is the interface for fast ethernet then here let me write the IP address for the second interface 192.168.21.1 okay this is the IP address for fast ethernet 0 slash 0 that IP address becomes a gateway for PC0, PC1 and PC2 so we have to go to this PC0 go to IP config write the interface address 20.1 okay as the default gateway so we'll do it quickly now for the second pc also Twenty dot one. then for the third pc 20.1 Now this interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 has got 192.168.21.1 as the gateway as the interface address that becomes the gateway for PC3, PC4 and PC5 belonging to the second network. So we will go to this setting write it in the default gateway 21.1 fine 21.1. next for pc2 default gateway 21.1 .1. for pc5 default gateway 21.1 .1. so in this way we have now given the default gateway for pc3 pc4 and pc5 which belongs to this second network and pc0 pc1 and pc2 got the default gateway belongs to default gateway 192.168.20.1 
belonging to the first network. Now let us swing from PC0 to PC5. So I'll go to PC0, go to the command prompt, ping PC5's IP address is 192.168.21.1. So we are here, okay, you can see always on the top PC0. Okay. Then you are trying to ping a PC which belongs to other network and write its IPv4 address. So it, sh it says invalid command, there is a mistake. I have not given the dot there, 192.168.21.7. Yes, we are able to get the output that is the reply has come from 21.7. Likewise, you can check from PC1 to PC3, PC4, PC5, PC2 to PC3, PC4, PC5. Similarly, try to check from PC, one of the PCs of the second network with a PC of the first network. So let us see whether we can communicate from network 2 to network 1. So randomly we will select one PC from network 2, PC5. Click to the command prompt and ping to one of the PCs of network 1. We will take 192.168.20.5. So we got a reply here. So that means this communication is successful. Using the ping command, you can always try to see whether each one of these PCs from each of these networks can communicate with the other. You can always extend this experiment. Since I have used only two networks, now you can connect one network this side, another network this side, that is network 3 and network 4, like that and try to see that whether all these four networks can communicate with each other or not. So hope this session is useful to you all. If you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye and take care.